to follow along with that. You've seen Fibonacci before in early programming. You know the Fibonacci, the overall set is going to be, or sequence is going to be zero plus one is equal to one, then one plus one equals two, and then we move on from there. Hopefully you've seen that before. If you haven't, let me know. But in a Fibonacci sequence, you're actually going to be, have two different types of equations that can work with Fibonacci. One is as a recurrence relation or function, where again, I need to know the previous information in order to get my current value. Or there is explicit functions that are out there if your n happens to be a heck of a lot higher. Now, by the way, this is just one version. There's actually several other versions out there, apparently. So, but notice each one in a sequence is going to have one or the other that you can use to solve your answer. Now, again, if it's n is very, very small, you probably want to use this one. Whew. If n is large, I hope you can program this. <laughs>